for Bailey's Bite. And today is all about steak. Harris Ranch is in the house. Let's check in with Anthony Bailey. He's outside on the patio. Anthony, this makes me excited to be on desk. Uh, this Joe, I got to tell you, one of my favorite segments already, and we haven't even begun. I am such a carnivore. Steak is like my middle name. We've got our pal Chef Reagan in here from Harris Ranch. Obviously, these are like one of the most iconic steak folks here in the valley. How are you doing this morning? Doing well, very, very well. Thank all you. All right, awesome. Well, we appreciate you making the trip over from Harris Ranch. First of all, uh, talk to us about what we're starting with here because it looks like we've got a lot going on in front of us. Well, I want to talk to you about a couple of different cuts of beef that we have in front of us. What we have here is our cowboy cut bone-in ribeye. This is kind of like the king of this uh, display right here. This is a prime cut, and you can see all the nice marbling throughout it, and so it's something that you're going to look for. Not necessarily the fattiness, although okay. the ribeye is a very fatty cut, which lends a lot of flavor as it's cooking. We also have a prime cut, 14-ounce uh, New York. Wow. Uh, you see nice marbling throughout that, and then we have a choice 8-ounce filet. Filet is a very nice cut and the most tender cut uh, between the three of them. All of them are great, just depends on what you're looking for. Talk to us about the differences. Do they cook differently? Do they have a little different taste when you finish them? They certainly do cook differently, and they certainly do have a little bit different uh, taste uh, when you finish uh, cooking them. The ribeye is a little bit fattier. It's going to render as it cooks, which is going to give it a lot of good flavor okay. as you're doing that. The, the New York is not quite as fatty, so for somebody who doesn't care for fat, that might be a great choice. And then, of course, the filet is very tender, but a little bit more dry, and it's something Perfect. that's uh, cooked uh, medium rare. And you're a traditionalist when it comes to seasoning, so talk about how we get these prepped for the grill. What do we need to put on them? So what we're going to do to prep these today is we're going to use a little bit of olive oil. We've got uh, cracked black pepper and uh, okay. kosher salt. Pretty awesome. simple. You can make many different types of rubs, but that's a, a very basic one, and that's works very well with good beef. And how much of that do we need to put on as we're doing the salt and pepper there and how early before we're going to grill them do we need to do that? We want to uh, wait about First of all, you want to bring your beef out about an hour, half an hour before you put it on the grill. Okay. You want to let it come up to temperature. You want it to be room temperature. Use a little bit of olive oil, season your product up, uh, and then you're just going to sprinkle it. I like my steak a little bit heavily seasoned yeah. with salt. I think it tastes great. Okay. Uh, a little bit of salt as it uh, renders. Perfect. And so we've got the steaks prepped. We're going to put those on the grill in just a little bit, but you've got a dessert dish that we're going to get started as well. What exactly are we making here? Okay, so we've got a peach cobbler. Stone fruits are in season. Uh, okay. We've got Wawona fruits uh, in the house here. And so we've got some nice citrus that also is grown locally. And so we're going to slice those up. You want them nice thick uh, cuts. And then as you cut those, uh, put them into a pan with a little bit of water, sugar, cinnamon, and cornstarch. And we're going to let that uh, cook on the side as we're preparing these steaks. All right, there you have it, folks. It's round one here hanging out with Chef Reagan from Harris Ranch there. It's steak week. We're getting you ready for the 4th of July. Of course, stay with us. We'll have this on the grill, and we'll show you some other tips and a few other dishes coming up here in just a little bit. Back to you.